Hey guys, uh, today I just wanted to show you how to import a make human model into Blender. Um, I, I I was really struggling with how to figure figure out how to put this in Blender, and I look I looked it up on YouTube. That's how much I struggled. And the only video I found that actually used the most recent uh, make human model was in German um, by I forgot their I forgot their channel name, but uh, anyways, and I don't I don't speak German. I I don't. So I, I didn't understand what they were saying, but I got the basic concept. But when I tried it out, it didn't work for me. So let me just take you through what they told me, and then I'll just show you where I went wrong, so you guys can actually make it happen. So just uh, after you make your your human model, I'm actually working on a project with a boy, so that's why I changed this. Uh, you can actually add more detail, of course, if you wanted to, under details and finishing and whatnot. But actually, after you get it, go to Files and Export, and export it as an MHX model. Now just name your model. Um, so I'm put it boy and boys and click save. My computer's a little bit slow, so <sighs> might take a little. Yeah. And all right, so once it saves, I'm just gonna close this. Close this. Uh, under Blender, you have to do one more thing. You have to update your user preferences. And under Add-ons and under Import-Export, you actually want to click on Make Human. But once you exit out of Blender, that's not going to stay. You're going to have to, every time you go into Blender, click on that add-on. And I found a way around this. You guys probably know it if you're Blender gurus, I guess. But um, you can actually just hit X. Make sure your default scene does not change. Because uh, you want, actually want to go under File and do Save User Settings. And so whatever is going on on your screen is what's going to pop up every time you open Blender. So I'm guessing if you are actually making a scene and you want to have that scene open up every time, I guess you could do that. But otherwise, I do tutorials and so I don't want my scene to change very much because people are going to be like, you know, what the hell. But, uh, I actually just I just took away the timeline and the outliner because I thought those were unnecessary, and then I saved my user preferences. But you guys can do whatever you want. And once you have that down, what the video I saw told me was go to import, and you actually have this this uh, new option. Click on that, and every time I went to my program files and make human and exports, I didn't find a damn thing. And it got me really frustrated, so I actually quit the program. And when I opened up my document, my document page to get some school stuff, I actually found a new folder. And so when I clicked on it, and I clicked on exports, there was my model. It's actually from a previous tutorial, but anyways. And so I figured, I guess the program gave you a new folder instead of the under the C drive, it's actually under your documents. It is under 7, Windows 7 anyways. So what now I did, I, I just clicked documents, then I went to make human, export, and I clicked on the 24, and it did not work. And I clicked on the 25, and that actually did work. And actually under here are some settings that you can change. I'm actually going to scale mine 0.5. Because if it's too big, then it slows down Blender a lot, and my computer sucks, so I don't want to have that done. And I guess there's other stuff you can you can add. I haven't I haven't played around around with that yet, but anyways, make sure you click on 25. I'm guessing it's for uh, Blender 2.5, the newest that's come out. Click Import MHX, and there we go. There's our there's our little guy, little dude. And I also noticed, I, I don't know what all this stuff is, like this, this ring and this box and that, the, the cylinder and all that. I don't, I don't know why that, that they added that. If you guys know, please leave a comment below. But uh, anyways, that's how you import a human. How, that's how you import a make human model to Blender 2.5. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or just anything you want to you want to add to my video, uh, please comment below. Thanks.